this video I'm going to show you a really easy way of making your own DIY photography board like this one. I'm even dressed to match. What's up YouTube and welcome or welcome back to my channel. On this channel we talk about everything to do with food photography and how to improve your food photography. You guys really like my DIY background videos and get a bit addicted to making these so I thought why not do another video for you but this one is super super easy. I thought let's go for a bit more of a colourful theme to get ready for Valentine's Day. Even though I've gone for a bright pink board this time you can do this in any colour or lack of colour if you want to go for a more grey tone or white and anything would work. It's so easy this one and just takes you a few minutes not including drying time obviously. As Valentine's coming up and I don't have many colourful boards I thought it would be a really good time to get a bright pink one in. So this is my final board and as you can see there's some really nice tones in here and it's definitely a girly pink Valentine's Day colour not normally my thing, but it's always good to venture out a little bit of your comfort zone. Kind of looks a bit like candy floss. So the first thing you're going to need is your board to paint it on. What I use for this one is actually the back of this bright blue board I made. So it's such a good idea to be able to use the back of a board because it doubles up your backgrounds without having to buy any new boards. So again, this one is a really cheap way of doing it. I'm not going to use the blue and pink at the same time on any shoe, so it's not like they need to be on separate boards. The next thing you're going to need is your paint. I was going for a pink colour, but there wasn't a pink that I liked. It was all a bit in your face bubblegum pink. So what I did was I went for a red and as you've seen in the past, my extremely large tub of white paint. This allowed me to, with just a little bit of red, create different tones of pink as well, which is exactly what we're looking for. If you're looking for blue, you could do two different types of blue and a white, two different types of green and a white, or just mix some white and black to get your different tones. You're going to want two to three different colours or the same colour but in different tones for this board. The next thing you're going to need is a sponge or some rag, something to put the paint on, but not a paintbrush for this one. I use these kind of sponges, just kind of folded up. You can use bigger sponges, little sponges, or just some like rags or rough fabric can work really well for this too and last but not least you're gonna want your matte sealer I'll have everything I just mentioned or something similar linked in the description below I just use for the white I kind of got a big pot knowing I'm gonna use it all up eventually and for the colors I just use little tester pots which keeps this really nice and cheap for our boards if you are using a lighter color like I am with the pink I would definitely recommend giving your board a once over with a white coat as well this is just gonna stop that woody orange tone seeping through your board in certain areas and it's going to save you a lot of the coloured paint in the long run because you're not going to need to put as many layers on. Now the next thing to do is get painting. The first thing we need to do is get set up for painting. So I'm going to put these bags down on my kitchen floor because paint splattered is not really the look you want on your floor. Then we need to collect everything we need for the board so that includes all of the paint, a pot to mix in and the board itself and then we're ready to go. board I wanted to make it a nice pink colour. There was no pink that I really liked in the shop but I thought how do we make pink? Red and white. So I'm going to mix my main colour into here with some red and plenty of white and that's the main thing I need to do before I put anything on the board. I'm going to put some white into here. I don't want it too dark, so I'm just gonna start with that. I can always add more red. See though, the color that it's gonna be is starting to come through and I think that's looking pretty good. This isn't gonna be the only tone of pink on the board, but I can mix the rest on here. This is the main color. Now we've got that ready, I'm going to lift you guys up so you can see exactly what I'm doing on the board and I'll go ahead and get started. First of all, I'm going to put half of the pink that I've just mixed up onto the board and then add in a fair bit more white to mix it up into a much lighter colour. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this on my board along with a big dollop of white. We're now going to start blending our colours and just start by 
roughly blending them by wiping a little bit. We're not going to fully blend the colours together, so after a little bit I'll start dabbing in different areas. Just keep going until you get the whole board covered. Now we've got the whole board covered, this will be our first coat and now we need to just leave it to dry for a few hours and we'll go ahead with the second coat. Now the board is dry, we're ready to start with our second coat. The board dried a lot lighter than I was expecting so I decided to add in some darker tones of pink all around the board. This time with the colours I'm going to add them in smaller splotches around the board to make it easier to mix them together and to make sure we've got a nice tonal variation throughout the whole board. This way the colours and the tones are going to be evenly spread. When we're blending with this coat, I'm just going to dab it all over the board without any wiping movements, just to make sure we've got some really nice splotches of each colour in all areas of the board. Just like with the first coat, dab it around until the board is fully covered with our new layer of paint. Now that's our second coat done and as you can see there's some really nice variations between the different tones of pink and the white. We just need to leave it to dry now and it's always best to leave it to dry overnight so it's definitely dry. So now the board has been painted and we've left it to dry overnight and we're definitely happy with how it looks. We're going to go ahead and apply our matte sealer. It being matte is really important so it doesn't have a shiny finish which is going to reflect our flashes or the sunlight when we're taking our pictures or give off any strange highlights or reflections. Having a sealer over your board is really good because it means you can wipe it clean when you've made a bit of a mess which is always inevitable with food photography. This isn't 100% certain so if you put some beetroot on there or some red wine it's probably still going to stain. It's not a miracle work. Just to let you know guys when you are putting this on I would recommend you doing it outside. I did it in the kitchen with the windows open because at the moment it's pretty bad. I mean I'll show you a quick clip of what it looks like here right now. I'm not doing it out there but I did make sure our windows are open because this is quite strong. My house does still stink of this so definitely try to do it outside if you can. Applying the sealer is really simple. Once the board is fully dry you give it a really nice even coating of the spray. It's best to do this twice so if you leave it to dry after the first coating and give it another go in about an hour. Okay guys that is our board completely finished. I hope you do follow along and if anybody does want to create their own definitely tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys make so just tag me at AM Photographer UK and I'll have a look at what you guys have made. I can't wait to see you guys make your own board. This is probably the easiest type of board I make, so if you've seen some of my other videos and thought it was a bit beyond you, definitely give this one a go. I think you will be amazed with the results you guys get. In next week's video, I'm gonna be doing another behind the scenes video of shooting something on this board. I'm not sure what to shoot you guys, so if you let me know in the comments below, I'm thinking something a bit more Valentine's Day themes, and I'll see you in next week's video. Thank you for watching guys, bye.